What's up YouTube? Una here to bring you another OPTC video. Today we are doing the Forest of Training Hawk. Um, I just did it with a non-free-to-play version, now we're going to do free-to-play. So basically we switched out Thatch for Zoro. Um, and actually the double stall of you know, him being able to stall one turn and then Usopp being able to stall you know, three turns actually plays out really, really well. Um, and then also instead of a int, you know, a legend friend, we'll actually just use the standard uh, um, Dex Hawk, you know, Raid Hawk if you want to call them, um, and this will be our team. I think this is a team that most new players will have access to. Um, I remember <laughs> I remember this time to actually switch out my coffin boat for the Sunny the sunny Go. So um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to walk through all, all 20 stages. Usually I skip the first 10, um, but I think, um, you know, if this is your first time through, this is generally the, the team you'll have access to. Um, you don't need any special ups on your Dofi. Um, I would recommend if your if your friend's not you know Max you Max your Mihawk I want one Max uh, you know Mihawk for for to be able to use twice um, and then everything else you know obviously if you have a Max Usopp that will only help um, if you have a Max Zoro that will only help but what you really want to shoot for is 12 turns on your Zoro because then you'll be able to use him I think two or three times I don't know uh, it's not too bad but with the with, in a combination with a thousand Sunny. Um, you don't need you don't really need any of that because because between all of those you, you should be able to stall all these just fine and I'll walk you through that. Um, but what you need to know about these first ten stages is that if you have any trouble any trouble at all with these first few stages you need to just stop trying this forest. This honestly, it's if you have any problems at all with these first few stages you are not going to be able to beat this forest. That's just how uh, hard it is compared to the first ten stages. So. Um, you know, some guides will have you, you know, stall out these first few rounds, but uh, for our strategy here, we just, we don't need to. This is, um, this is uh, what I would recommend if I were going the free-to-play route and I didn't have a stronger hitting uh, deck slasher or something like that. You could obviously upgrade, um, but with Zoro's ability to delay one turn, um, it's just, it's just a match made in heaven, honestly. This makes, makes this uh, forest a lot more doable, so I'm, I, I hope that, uh, you know, for you guys that are struggling out there, this this video will really help you. Um, the other thing that I want to mention is that your levels of the actual like characters themselves um, should be in the 50 to 70 range area. Uh, you'll you'll definitely be able to beat it in that area. Uh, if you get above that to like the 80 to 90, or you know, even if you max out some units, uh, you're you're gonna beat this. You're gonna beat this level. It's, I need to slow down. So what level am I on? Is this is this nine? Oh, this is ten. Woo! Yeah, I need to slow down because you want your um, Thousand Sunny. See, it's on a three-turn cooldown. You need it to be ready for um, Buggy on stage 12. So that's that's the only stalling that you really need to do there. Um, you know, it's not like you need to stall for Mihawk or for anyone like that. Um, they should all be up by the time that they're actually getting ready to be used for the first turn. Um, and if they're if you have at least one of them max, whether it's you or your friend, um, you can you can use them a couple times in this in this uh, forest, which is really nice. So just go ahead and take out Mr. Uh, Ace. He, he also shouldn't be a problem, even though I know they start kind of ramping up in difficulty here. And uh, if you try and attack all of these, you might not be able to take them all out. You might. Um, so what I recommend actually doing is just rocking the sunny go. Kablam! And then you'll just have a little bit of health on Buggy. And you'll also be able to protect your orbs uh, a little bit if you uh, have some matching orbs like I do right now. Okay, so now we're going to have... Oh, okay, cool. Sometimes uh, they're both on a one-turn cooldown. And I thought that uh, Django always uh, didn't attack if he had a one-turn cooldown, but someone someone on the uh, global wiki reported that they did. So with that, I don't know when he attacks and doesn't attack when he's on a uh, one-turn cooldown. I thought he never did, but someone reported that he did. But so just be careful of that if you can't take him out in one turn. And you know, and as as we're walking through these, you'll see that your levels will differ from my levels. So don't get disheartened if you're not taking. The units out as fast as I am, or if you take them out slower. This is supposed to be a general guide. You know, you'll our teams will never be the exact same. So, um, but what's nice about this strategy with the the double stallers here is that you don't really rely too much on specials um, because, well, rely on specials. You don't rely on specials to do the damage. You rely on your units. So once you power up your units and you have the uh, the time delay guys you'll see it kind of uh, is up to you to do the damage that you need to. So um, either on this stage or the next stage is when you need to plan to use uh, your Zoro and Usopp. You can you you do not want Zor um, Arlong here to hit you very hard because uh, he hits really hard. Um, so you need to make sure between these two that you absolutely take 
uh, Arlong out with priority. Uh, if you have a, a matching um, quick unit, like I do right here with Zoro, you can you can actually just get away with the one turn. Um, and what I'd recommend is actually just starting out on Zoro because if Hachan hits you, uh, it's not really of any big consequence. You know, it's not going to cause too much damage. But Zo but uh, Arlong here, he will just straight up. I mean, he'll he'll kill you. So um, yeah, that's that's the only thing to really know about this stage and the next stage. Woo! So just take out Hachan and move on. So now we have uh, the um, what do you call these guys? The Baroque Works. So you'll want to use your other staller here, and uh, I think it's, you know, if you can, I'd prefer to use your, your, your Usopp here for your stall. But the first thing, uh, you know, Miss Jerkface, Miss Goldenface does, is she'll switch all your orbs to uh, non-matching. Not very nice, is it? And uh, what you'll want to do is basically, you'll, you'll want to take out um, him, Mr. Three with a priority. So just make sure under no circumstances do you allow him to attack, because he'll attack your entire left uh, squad for basically, I think it's six or seven turns, it's it's no fun, so um, you, you just can't let him attack. Everything else is kind of kind of negotiable, you know, um, but that's the only one that's uh, absolutely cannot happen. And I don't have any strong units against him, but um, with, with, with the Usopp stall here, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, and then outside of that, um, the only thing you really need to be careful about is actually just clearing this level too fast. I know that sounds weird. But uh, if you beat this level too fast, then you won't have enough stalls uh, to use your Usopp again on stage uh, 19. And what you really need is your Zoro ready for stage uh, 20. Because you'll use Zoro to um, uh, stall on Mihawk for, for one round. So that's, that's why we're looking at what we're doing, is that we just need to make sure that Usopp's ready there. And that uh, Mr. Zoro's ready for uh, uh, Mihawk. So uh, again, just kind of just kind of pound through these units. You shouldn't. Ooh, I might be. Yeah, I can take him out. I just need to make sure I hit my my attacks this time, as opposed to being a buffoon and missing. Um, so if you if you do miss your attacks with him, he actually does hit kind of hard. So just just be careful of that. And then we'll just take our our sweet little time here on sweet little Miss Miss Valentine here, who likes to sit on people and weigh fat amounts, but not not actually become fat. So. All right, so now we have stage 17, which is kind of the one of the stages that also gives people some problems. So um, if you have uh, level 3 chains, um, it makes this stage super easy. Uh, I've got level 1, which means I'll be taking some hits here. Um, you could use Usopp here and work on your stalling a little bit better than what I've been doing. But um, I don't think, you know, they don't hit too hard. And honestly, after um, the dragon, that's really the last stage that you'll take damage. Every, you'll get a 2,000 preemptive from Mihawk, but I mean, it's nothing really to nothing really to be scared of or anything like that. So um, just do your best to uh, minimize the damage that you take here. So I'll take one more hit from Tashigi, then I'll take her out, and then I'll take one hit from um, Smoker. So not too bad, right? We're, mi we're minimizing it to an extent. Um, and, and like I said, if you had level 3 chains, you you could have just wiped this level out and taken no damage. Um, and, uh, you know, if you wanted, if you had your Usopp ready there, or if you stalled differently than I could, uh, you could use Usopp there as well, too. It's it's not really a hard requirement with the way that I'm doing this right now. Whoops. You just need to make sure that you do take Smoker out uh, before he attack, attacks again. Oh, man, I'm really, I was really hoping for at least a few Meat Orbs here. I'm not getting very lucky at all. And, uh... Yep, but that's, that's about it for this guy. At least give me one meat, not a single meat. Ugh, come on. Come on, treasure crews. What do I do to you to deserve this? Okay, and now we come to the um, the crabs. And if you followed our stall strategy, you know, to, not to a T, but like I said, every unit's different. You can actually use the uh, cannon here to, to take out all the crabs, and then you're left with, with just, the, uh, just the dragon. And, uh, you know, depending on your levels, like I said... Uh, you should be, and, and particularly the orbs, I got really lucky here with the orb, you should be able to take him out in these, these three turns. Um, you know, he's, he's nothing too dangerous. Um, I would not recommend using a stalling unit here. Make sure I don't kill him here. I would not recommend using a stalling unit here because you want to use Usopp, like I said, on stage 19, and you want to make sure that you have, um, whoops, oh crap, 
and you want to make sure that you have uh, Zoro ready for stage 20. So for this stage, uh, first off, activate your, your Usopp right away um, to give yourself the maximum stall time. Um, I'd recommend activating one Mihawk. Um, you could use both Mihawks here, but sometimes I like to uh, wait to see if I want to use a Mihawk on uh, uh, a second Mihawk on the, the, the boss Mihawk. Um, and then you just need to kind of choose when you're going to use your Doflamingo, whether you're going to use him here or whether you're going to need to use him on your, uh, the, the boss the next stage. Um, honestly, this is the hardest part of this forest. If you can beat um, basically one straw hat per round. So you should be able to take so Soge King out right away. He's pretty weak. You should be able to take out Nami, and then you should be able to take out uh, Sanji on one turn. You should be absolutely fine and not have any problems with this. Um, it's just a matter of your levels. Oh, probably should have used Arlong there because he's not going to do much damage against Sanji. But um, depending on your levels will, will really influence kind of um, you know where you're where you're doing your damage and how much time installing you need. So uh, that was I could have done a lot better there in terms of using uh, Arlong and stuff like that. But we're not worried about it. We have four turns to take out these two guys, which won't be a problem. The only thing I really need to look for now is try and keep a, um, a uh, what do you call it, a strength, a strength orb, because we'll want to keep that to go into the next level to uh, put the strength orb on Arlong for a Doflamingo round. So um, cutting it a little close here because I did miss that one attack. Um, so if you are messing up like I am, you can like I said, you could always use Doflamingo to bail yourself out or the Intoc, but preferably you would like to... Uh, ugh, I didn't get I didn't get my Strength Orb. Um, but that's okay because, you know, our strategy, like I said, is we're going to have an extra round with Zoro. Um, so we can, we can have two rounds to look for a Strength Orb here. He's going to hit you for a preemptive for two grand. Um, and then after that, I can't take any more hits. Oh, hey, I got my Strength Orb. All right. That's the uh, that's the blessing I feel like of having the uh, matching orbs um, sockets. So um, I'll show you my sockets. I don't remember if I showed you guys my sockets or not, but I have level two matching orbs, which which is incredibly valuable. I think matching orbs bind despair. I'm, I'm I'm not in love with healing. I'm not in love with cooldown. I, I go back and forth between those two, but those are the the, the sockets that I always recommend. Um, so yeah, so just use your Zoro. Use your um, uh, Doflamingo to max out the power that um, your Arlong does, and yeah, I don't really need to switch any orbs, so I'll just move those around. Um, activate your your Mihawk first, because you know percentage-wise, obviously, it makes the most sense to do the damage here. And that should be it. I probably, I predict, I will one-shot him here with uh, all these matching orbs. If I don't, man, that'd be it. That'd be quite the surprise. Hey, I'll take everybody on the internet out for a steak dinner. I don't kill him right here. All right, because that would have been an expensive dinner. So there you go, guys. That is the uh, Forest of Training Hawk. Um, you know, the double stall strategy, I think it's just really consistent. Uh, it's, it's really, really helpful and definitely even more helpful when you have that sunny go to take out uh, Buggy and the, the crabs. So uh, good luck. You, I mean, I have all the faith in the world that you guys are going to be able to get uh, the coffin boat.